What's up everybody, it's guysguy 26 again here, and I'm bringing you another Wi-Fi battle. Even though it's not Wi-Fi, it's on Pokemon Showdown, and uh, this is a match I've had with the Sig now. That possibly means something I understand. Anyway, this is a brand new team I have uh, made up, I suppose. Uh, you'll see how it plays out. This is an OU tier match, and I tried to bring some um, lower tiers in to this match as well. I don't know how well that really worked out. And uh, this guy took a little, long while to accept the match. So, uh, yeah. As you can see, he's he's all shiny. You know, blue diglet. Blue nose diglets. Um, right, I'll tell you now. I've laid off on my nine towers as opposed to my normal B sharp lead. Because I'm fearing that fortress coming in. Anyway, so he brings him his, his diglet. So I'm like, well, I don't think the diglet can really do much. Because I'm on, I'm on a balloon. Uh, I can't remember if Stiglitz can learn Stone Edge, um, but uh, anyways, I decided to stay in for a Solar Beam, to which he brings in his Nygmagius to take. Uh, I crit, which is fantastic, and now I'm just going to go for a Flamethrower to finish off this Nygmagius, or deal some damage to whatever it flips switches into. Unfortunately, it Destiny Bonds, and I lose my uh, Garurumon early on, and I'm like, well damn, that was my, my one anti-fortress Pokemon. <laughs> God, I hate Fortress. Okay, uh, now I'm going to bring in my B-Sharp again. Well, not again. I'm bringing in my B-Sharp. I'm like, well, it's a free turn, essentially. So it's essentially like starting out again, and I can be able to get my uh, my lead out. Okay, so here comes Shepard. Then he brings in the Fortress. Uh, that's the one thing I didn't want to switch into, because I'm like, oh, I can't do anything against Fortresses. So now I'm looking through my team, I'm like, what can do anything? So I bring in Toasty, I think. Do I bring in Toasty? Yeah. I bring in Toasty, he's my Eviolite Dusclops. Um, so he's pretty bulky. Uh, I'm going to use my Will-O-Wisp. Uh, this probably wasn't the best play. I probably should have brought in my um, Sharpedo to uh, just waterfall it to death and stun and flinch and you know what I mean. Uh, that's what I think I should have done in hindsight. I have no more special attackers, <laughs> uh, apart from my Toasty, who's not really an attacker, it's more of a support wall. Uh, but I get the burn off to try and slowly whittle down this uh, fortress. In comes my Crobat, I'm thinking, oh, well, my Nobat Crobat. I'm thinking, it's, this shouldn't be too bad, I can Super Fang get this fortress down to lower HP, and I won't take any spikes damage on the switch. Um, this is a very bulky Crobat. Um, Oh wow, how did, I, how did I miss? I don't, I don't even understand what happened there. That was like the worst thing ever. Doesn't matter though, he just, you know, ruined my team with all these stupid entry hazards. Freaking two layers of toxic spikes, three spikes. Are you serious? It's just it's just bad news bears. This this is an acrobatics um, set that I use because it doesn't have an item and it's just going to acrobatics for victory. Do a ton of damage. You need to see how much damage this Crobat ends up doing in the end. Um, yeah, well, as I was saying, it's quite a bulky Crobat. He's got um, uh, max HP, uh, a lot of investment in special defense, and some investment in defense as well. Um, so, uh, because I know that really Crobat's not going to be really taking much physical damage, but even still, I can still take. Uh, well, I don't think I can take a Thunder Punch, but you know, something similar. Maybe a fire punch. Anyway, he spends forever deciding what the hell his Ferretto is going to be doing, and I'm just just chilling. I, I don't know if I start the timer on this guy, but I probably should have. If you didn't, there we go. Here comes his Swallow to take an acrobatics, and then he gets Lefty's recovery on his Black Sludge. Even though it's Black Sludge, not Lefty's. Anyway, so I'm like, well, damn. Yeah, I'm probably only going to live with 1 HP, but never mind. This Swallot can't do much to me. I mean, what can a Swallot really do against another Poison type? And I end up killing anyway, so that's Fandabby Dozy. The sun's still up. You know, the sun is shining. It's a hell of a day. Black is black and it's heading your way. Um, again, <laughs> just waiting for this guy. There we go. Here comes his nine tails. I'm like, well, bugger. I'm just going to acrobatics here. There, There's my special defense coming into play there uh, and now I should I don't think I outsped this nine tails last time I don't think I think I gotta do though I don't remember anyway I kill it I'll give you a spoiler spoiler alert, it does die to acrobatics and I but my crowbat has done me well you know it's, I've still got f five pokes he's got only got four and he will only have three after this 
so this crowbat did a lot. As the, there you go, right now. Here we go. Okay, the fortress comes out. I come back to the fortress. The fortress will go down. Finally. <laughs> God, I hate fortress. That's why I refuse to use it because it's pants. Well, it's not pants, it's just annoying. As in comes this Blissey. And the worst thing I ever did was use um, Super Fang again after this. I do roost up. This is carrying roost, so it's just going to be annoyingly big. I don't make the same mistake I made last time with my Chansey where I didn't soft boil twice, so I'm going to roost again. Um, here, the next turn after the roost. God, he takes so long to decide. Um, uh, oh wow, I should have. Why did I not roost? This is the turn where I roost twice. <laughs> this is the time where I roost twice. Anyway, I roost twice. Um, I roost twice. There we go. I do roost twice. And then I went for the Super Fang and uh, wasn't the best idea. I should have really gone for the Acrobatics because look how much damage the Acrobatics ends up doing when I finally pull it off. Like, a lot of damage. <laughs> now, I know I can outspeed, so I'm just going to go for another Acrobatics and kill off this Blissey before it comes an issue. But wait, there's more. Is there more? No, there's no more. <laughs> there you go, and the Blissey goes down. So that's two to five at the moment. And you're like, wow, this is going well, right? Yeah. And he brings in his nine tails, which I can't outspeed because I'm slow as, and it's just going to kill me with a flamethrower. Wah, wah, wah. And my legendary crowbat goes down. I'm like, well, fudge nuggets. My B sharp. Uh, well, no, I'll talk about that later. I bring in my OU because he's overused as hell, and I try and just do as much damage as I can with my Aqua Jet. But unfortunately, Solar Beam is going to take me out anyway. I forgot about Solar Beam. <laughs> but I needed to do as much to make this Nine Tails as I could. Possibly a waste there, I'm not sure. Uh, bring in my Argle, who is my Machamp. Entry Tails are really screwing me over, and they will screw over my. Um, I go for a Bullet Punch. It's still gem boosted. I'm like, perhaps if the Lord loves me enough, but he doesn't, I might have got a kill on that Bullet Punch, but n no go. I should have just like dynamic punch or something because I would have survived the flamethrower um, that was where I lost the match essentially oh no I gave it away I didn't lose I did lose um, <laughs> so I bring in Toasty um, he really can't do anything to my, I'm talking Toasty can't do anything uh, so I just all he's carrying is Shadow Sneak and Ice Beam so I go for Shadow Sneak do as much as I can I'm thinking maybe this uh, but then he gets Lefty's recovery but I was thinking at the time I was like maybe Shadow Sneak would do something Anyway, so this is my last ditch attempt. My B sharp definitely will not outspeed, and thanks to his silly entry hazards, uh, I will not be able to um, use my focus sash, which is what I sort of rely on when using B sharp because he has so many weaknesses. Anyway, so I'm just gonna pain split to try and <laughs> survive out this toxic damage I'm taking. Pain split for days, pretty much. I'm gonna wake up. Flame throw me, I'm still gonna die. I'm gonna pain split again. <laughs> and I'm gonna pain split one more time. Oh, I go for Ah, oh, that's right. I misclicked and went for an ice beam. At this point, I sort of threw my hands up in the air and just cried out in rage because I should have freaking uh, shadow sneaked and it would have just been happy times all around. Never mind. In comes B sharp, no sash anymore, but no toxic as well because he's part of steel. Uh, and I know I'm dead, so it doesn't really matter what I pick. And there you go. And that was K. <laughs> Alright, thanks very much, guys. See you next time.